Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the world of biometric security as we explore the steps to configure Morpho Manager for IDMIA biometric devices. In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of adding your device into Morpho Manager and demonstrate how to set up various authentication modes for seamless access control. Whether you are looking to unlock doors using biometrics only, cards only, or a combination of both, like card or biometric, card and biometric, so stick around as we guide you through the configuration journey. Let's get started. First run the Morpho Manager from the Start menu. If you don't have the Morpho Manager installed, refer to my previous video for the download, installation, and license activation details, link in the description. Once it's running, please enter your username and password. After logged in, from the home screen, navigate to Administration, then select Biometric Device. To add a new device, click on Add. In the Adding Biometric Device window, fill in the device name, device description, device location, asset ID, export value, and select the time zone. Choose the device type from the drop down list and enter the device IP address. For guidance on finding or changing the IP address, performing a factory reset, and other device related details, check out the videos on my channel, link in the description. Biometric device profile keep as default, later in the video we can create new profile or modify it. After entering all the information, click finish to add the device in the Morpho Manager. The device will then start obtaining the configuration and report readiness as shown on the screen. After successfully adding the device to the Morpho Manager, the next step is to configure authentication modes for user access. To do that, navigate to User Authentication Mode and click Add to create a new mode. In the Adding User Authentication Mode window, enter the details for the authentication mode such as the mode name. For example, if you are adding a mode to access the door using only biometric authentication, enter Bio Only as the name. Fill in the description if needed and ignore other options, then click Next. Here enable the mode and make the following changes for bio-authentication. Select the checkbox for downloading the identifier to the device. Choose Download to device at the template location. Select the checkbox to allow start by biometric. And select the checkbox for required template match. Finally, click on Finish to complete adding the bio-only authentication mode. Once adding completed, click on add again to add next authentication mode as card only to access the door using only card authentication. Enter the details for the authentication mode such as the mode name. For example, card only. Provide a description if needed and ignore other options then click next. Here enable the mode and make the following changes for card authentication. Select the checkbox for downloading the identifier to the device. Choose Allow, add the encode to smart mode. Select the checkbox to allow start by contactless card. At last, click on finish to complete adding the bio only authentication mode. Once adding completed, click on add once more to add next authentication mode as card and bio. To access the door using card and biometric authentication, enter the details for the authentication mode such as the mode name. For example, card and bio and provide a description if needed then ignore other options click next here enable the mode and make the following changes for card and bio authentication select the checkbox for downloading the identifier to the device then select allow and prompt at encode to smart mode and choose download to device at template location select the checkbox to allow start by contactless card and select the checkbox at required template match. Finally, 
click on finish to complete adding the card and bio authentication mode once adding completed click on add once more to add next authentication mode as card or bio to access the door using card or biometric authentication enter the details for the authentication mode such as the mode name for example card or bio and provide a description if needed then ignore other options click next here enable the mode and make the following changes for card or bio authentication select the checkbox at downloading the identifier to the device choose allow and prompt at the encode to smart mode then select download to device at template location and select checkbox at allow start by biometric also select checkbox at allow start by contactless card at last click on finish to complete adding the card or bio authentication mode I have demonstrated all possible combinations of authentication modes required to complete your configuration. If you have any additional authentication requirements, feel free to contact us for further support. Once you've completed the configuration of the user authentication modes, the next step is to configure user policies. To do that, navigate to User Policy from the menu, then click on Add to create a new user policy. The adding user policy window will appear. Enter details such as the name and description for the policy. Then ignore other settings and jump to user authentication mode. Here, select the authentication mode from the drop-down list we created earlier in this video. For example, if you're creating a user policy for bio only, select bio only from the list. Once you've entered the details for the user policy, click next. In the following step, Choose the number of fingers users should use while registering for an account. For example, here, I will select two fingers. Then click Next. Ignore the subsequent options and click Next again and similarly, ignore the next option as well. And then click on Finish to complete the process. Repeat these steps to create all user policies according to the user authentication modes. Once you've completed the creation of user policies, the next step is to add users with different authentication modes and test them. However, as this video is already quite lengthy, I will conclude it at this point. In the next video, we will explore how to add users with different authentication modes and test the system. Additionally, we'll learn how to make the same device as registration device in case you don't have one along with a card encoder. I hope, up to this point, you have a clear understanding of the configuration process. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's worth noting that more than 90% of viewers have not subscribed yet. Your subscriptions and likes will encourage us to create more videos on different topics. Thank you.